Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Hi, Rachel. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. So good. just to let everybody know, who are you? Why are you here? What did you, why, why did you agree to my crazy request? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, my name is Rachel. I'm an artist. I'm a photographer. And I'm here today because you're good at wrangling people in. <laughs> I really am. You really are. You're I just really like, am. what you, I th actually, I feel like, you're like, what are you doing? I thought you were going to invite me to dinner. <laughs> you said, what are you doing Monday soon. night? And I was yeah. like, sure, no, yes. Like, what are you doing? I thought you were going to invite me to dinner. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn it down. So, yeah, you know. Just like that one fateful day, you were like, I want to take your picture. And I'm like, you're crazy. You yeah. remember that day, right? Like yeah. we were at an event and I was like, oh, she's cute. Yeah, we were at the Women, Wine and Wednesday. Winning Wednesdays. Yes, that, that was a great event. Mm -hmm. That was that was over there at the L offices. Who's, yeah. Whose event was that? I forget. Annette Martin. Yes, yeah. yes. She's amazing. Yeah, I love that event. That's where I met you. And you were, um, you were saying that you were helping women oh, small that's business owners being more right. empowered that's to run their own business and i was like oh that's great that's exactly what i'm doing i'm helping women business owners feel more empowered and be more visible through photography and i was like or, and i try to look you up on the spot and i didn't find anything i know you so you put me on the spot <laughs> like you really did so um I, I had just started this sort of business services i had just just gotten out of a partnership with the nonprofit and I was like super heartbroken and mm -hmm. super like just getting my feet wet trying to promote myself and and so yeah that was like one of the first events that I did to put myself out there so mm -hmm. yeah that's, and you sure did I, yeah thanks Rachel <laughs> and I came and found you and um you didn't have a photo and I was like well what are you doing you need to be doing the things that you tell people to do which is come full circle that's where I'm at right now and um, then I got you somehow to get into the studio. Yeah, that was yeah. that was emotional. Let's, I, I'm still to this day. I tell everybody I wouldn't have done simply and muscle without you. Like mm. for real, that that was something that you just kind of pushed me. You were like, "Well, you're walking the walk." I was like, "No, no, no, I'm not doing this." And you were like, "Yeah, we're gonna do this." Yeah. And, and and you really wouldn't take no for an answer. That's something that. I thank you for today. Mm, mm. You're welcome. I'm glad you see it like that. <laughs> yeah, it took yeah. me a while to process. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just had this conversation kind of briefly outside, you know, as to why it's mm -hmm. so hard to to take your picture, to be mm -hmm. vulnerable enough to allow yourself to be photographed. Mm -hmm. Because um, everybody's done photographs before in, in school and you never had a choice in that. They were just like, they were the most horrendous pictures yeah, and photos. mom and dad would just pay it. And I'm guilty too. You know, I would buy all those pictures and yeah, once they got to like middle school, I stopped buying pictures. I was like, that's, that's such a waste of money. Cause they didn't like it. They yeah. didn't like their own photo. Or they cut you in the oh. most obscene yeah. way. Like your hair sticking up this yeah. way. I think my brother ha half the time was like, not completely groomed so yeah those were yeah i think people have a lot of experiences i've heard a lot of stories that that don't feel good or sound good around photography mm -hmm. well especially with simply Edmosa, okay we we talk about being able to walk in in and define what makes you beautiful mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. i think that it's it's taken me well how lo how long ago did we do those pictures it's been two years because yeah, mm -hmm. we are now on our third mm -hmm. and I'm still not okay with being in front of the camera. I'm still really insecure. I'm still really like, there's a lot of things that I feel like <sighs> I have yeah. to work on. Like, honestly, just because I'm on a podcast doesn't mean that I enjoy being in front of the camera. Yeah. Being like, visible. Mm -hmm. It's a process. The self-love journey. It's a journey. It sure is. And I will say that, you know, now that I'm out there, public speaking was mm -hmm. another one that I was just like, oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. I didn't anticipate the need to be able to get up and talk to a bunch of people like it's it's, it's an art form. That's for sure. It, it's taken me a long time to not because I still get nervous. I still get mm -hmm. really scared. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. 
And I think that that's something that resonates with most people mm-hmm. because it's an uncomfortable position when everyone is looking at you. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. unless you're one of those TV personalities that are just really comfortable, it, it's mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hard being uh, seen, looked at, seeing your own image, reflecting on it, and uh, dealing with the inner critic. All those little voices on the other, the end, the, and, with and the I, negative message. Yes. And mm-hmm. so I showed my mom my pictures. I showed my daughter the pictures. And I showed, you know, my husband the pictures. And everybody didn't have a problem with them. But I did. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. is that what I look like? Mm-hmm. Um, and so that in itself was just hard. Mm-hmm. And it just so happened. Again, this is how I, I begin the story of Simply Hermosa. We were taking pictures and my daughter just so happened to be also taking pictures that day. And it was sad because she's crying. She's crying. And you know I left the studio crying. <laughs> there, was, there was a couple of tears through that process. Well, from mm-hmm. start to finish, it, yeah. was, it, was, it was hard because yeah. you get me and then you push me into front of the mirror. Mm. Oh, and that was the hardest. I'll never forget that. You push me in front of the mirror and you, you make me... You make me cry. You're like, what would you tell? Mm-hmm. I think you should tell me. Let, let's let's rehash that conversation because I'm trying to empower women with Simply mm-hmm. Hermosa. And it's hard to empower others when I'm not empowered myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I probably said something about your inner child yeah. or what you would say to her. You, you sat me there and you told me, what would you tell the little girl mm. in you? Mm-hmm. I want you to look at her and I want you mm. to be okay with her and tell her you love her. Mm-hmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You told me that, um, you know, that experience, it was big for both of us for different reasons. And um, watching you go through that, um, you know, just like, because I really just wanted you to, to check how you looked in the mirror, you know, check your outfit, check your hair. And that's when I saw that there was some struggle there. And I was like, what's going on, you know? Um, and you told me that you were taught not to look in the mirror, to not be, um, and you used the word vain um, or worried about your appearance. And, and it really hit me that that is, I think, a lot of people's story around um, having their photo taken or even selfies or like this idea of vanity and that it's bad. And I just was like, uh, it just struck me because I love photography and I see the power of photography to transform lives, to transform how you can see yourself. So by letting yourself get photographed and then liking or having a process, a relationship with it, hopefully liking how you look, and then that could add to like this ripple effect of positivity and self-love or like just having a positive reaction to how you, you view yourself. Um, so it, it just struck me that I think that's where I can help people. That's how I want to help people. That's how I want to help women see themselves a little differently. And I think that we talked about how therapeutic it is mm-hmm. um, when you get the pictures back. Um, mm. Because you do have to sit with them for a while. Yeah. And then I took it. I was like, OK, I need to get easier. I need to get better. Um, and, and I worked with Jesus and Danielle of JDDU Photography. And they both were like, okay, get back in get back in front of the camera. Get back in front of the camera. That's the only way you're gonna feel better. And then I was working with um I was talking with um Regal Fierce Media mm-hmm. and Katrina Calderon is another one. She was like, Burn, just put it out there because if you never put it out there, nobody's gonna know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna know what you're talking about. And so Simply Hermosa started because of how I felt about myself. Mm -hmm. And then the conversation that I had with Danny in the car where she's crying and she's talking Mm -hmm. about her self-image and how she didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And the conversation went, "Um, I don't know why you don't like your pictures, mommy, because you're beautiful. And Mm -hmm. I said, well, Danny, you're photogenic. And she was like, but mom, I look just like you. Mm -hmm. Bam. And so... we can heal ourselves and help break that cycle with our children um, and that's by showing them. That's where Simply Hermosa was mm-hmm. born. That's mm-hmm. where it was born because, you know, I talked to my niece and then I started having the conversation. That's where the question came from. I think, I, I think you're the one that asked me that question. 
what makes you beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that mm. I really do mm. owe you so much. Mm. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's like, it's all in you. It's all in you. And sometimes we come to a person, place, or thing, a thing that happens and it activates that, but it's all you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I want mm -hmm. you to understand that without mm. that session, without us talking about mm -hmm. these things, um, I, I don't know that I could be where I am right now. I don't know that we would be talking about a third show. Mm -hmm. um, and then being able to work with others, you know, like, I, and I'm just going to give a shout out to all of my, my sponsors because, again, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a thing that, you know, somebody trusted enough in me to, to ask me to represent them yeah. and, and be... Um, a part of their company and they were like I believe in what you're doing so I'm so honored you know I'm working with Ramada Tucson they were like you do these events they're beautiful can you come and work for us can you help us and so they're one of my main sponsors I mean they've picked up Simply Admosa for a third year this year so wow. I'm so mm -hmm. honored by the staff that's there that they give their all to you it might not be the most beautiful up-to-date hotel but what you get in service and what you get um with the customers are like it's top-notch they really care about you they really make you feel at home um and then you know I, I, again, I'm going to give a lot of thanks to Fatico. He helped me with my my leggings and he helped me create, you know, the branding for Simply Hermosa this last year. And he took my idea and made it so much more. So he was my, you know, again, these are people that I've partnered with that have just made me better, mm -hmm. made me better. Um, you know, I've got amazing friends and that i've come to meet through simply hermosa like carla mejia with baking is my therapy she comes and she she's so upbeat she's my she's my unofficial cheerleader like she's always there for me so i'm super excited and then we had a new um business come in and and they helped me decorate the 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 ballroom again making it such a beautiful mm -hmm beautiful night for all the women that were there and and simply Hermosa is just more than just a fashion show you know i get to partner with multiple small businesses and those are just a few like you know thanks to to luxana she she does my makeup she always mm -hmm. makes me look beautiful mm -hmm. and it, it, it's it's the impact of people like that that help me help others mm -hmm. And so you even, like the first show, I'm so excited, you know, um, to bring you back, to have you here with me on this show because you did something so beautiful that night too. You you took pictures of the vendors that, the, the boutiques, mm -hmm. the owners of, of the small businesses that were there that were impacted by Simply Hermosa. So the partnerships, like I said, that's what I love about Simply Hermosa. Yes, mm -hmm. it is about the models, it is about the boutiques, but like it's almost like community and the and the support and the what you do is what makes you beautiful. Mm -hmm. Community uplifting each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited to be doing this again. You know, it's really hard. I'm still in debt. I still, you know, <laughs> you know but but I, I wouldn't, I, I, you know, I, I'm still struggling. I'm not gonna say that it's super easy because nothing in life is easy. Mm -hmm. But with this event, you know, we, we we are trying to do better. I'm trying to be smarter about the things that I've done. And I wanna recognize that, again, I need partners. I need people that that believe in me, but that I can also promote. So I'm, I'm kind of like on a promoting yeah. mess right now. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm on that and, and I'm just pulling people along. And I think that's what I do well. I yeah. think mm -hmm. um, connect I connect person. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's one of my strengths. And so I want to hear, you know, now that I've already kind of been a little bit of a Chiona, <laughs> I want to hear. I knew there was going to be tears. I want to hear what 
you feel and why you did Simply Edmosa? Um, you know, it was really simple. I just I believed in the project. I was like, I'm a yes. Um, I love helping, you know, I really love helping small business owners and professionals because I, I'm an artist um, and my purpose is to create. And so I think that small business owners are usually working in their interest or their passion. And so when they come and they're like, I need images to help this thing grow so they can be more impactful and help more people, I'm a yes to that. And I get to like figure out the visual s solutions to their problems, you know, and they're like, I want to look like this or I want to feel like that. And I get to put my artistry to, to work and um, help people look good and feel good. And so when you're doing uh, your event is around women in business, that's just, I'm, a, I'm always a yes to that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. So here's the question. The magic question that you made me cry that's actually now my slogan. What makes you beautiful? Um, well, so many things. <laughs> I agree. Um, okay. Are we talking like inside or out? It's how you interpret the question. You know, off, what I think is the most beautiful thing about me is my, my ability to love. I am just so interested in people. I love people. I want to just meet people. I want to just like dig in, like, who are you? What makes you tick? Um, what are you excited about? What inspires you? And I think that's all just like the spaces of love. Um, uh, I, I, I think I got nice hair and I smile, but um, I'm really, I'm like glass half full type of person. Optimistic, positive, creative. And that is important. That's important because if you're always negative, you can't, you can't see the beauty and the things that are around you. Mm -hmm. I'm a stop and smell the flowers kind of person. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite pastime is just relationship building. You know, like I just want to be with people and care about each other. So that's probably like my most beautiful quality. Because um, we need more of that, I think. I, or we need the balance. We need the balance of all the things and all the people. I think, I think what... I also feel about you is that you're just one of those people that you just want to be be with you know mm -hmm. friends I just want to be friends with you <laughs> Thanks. you know I just want to take you and let's go hang out because there's so many amazing things and and I will say that I am a big fan of your art too thank you um you know I I'm, I'm getting back into I want to get back behind the camera yes and, and, and I, oh, because I want to see how I've grown. Mm -hmm. You know, last year I did The Art of Her mm -hmm. with Jessica, and she's so talented. Mm -hmm. What she pulls from women. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. And that experience in itself was just like, like, ah, uh, like, okay, this is another view of me that mm -hmm. I hadn't seen. And then she tells me, hey, I want you to do a statement. Mm -hmm. She does the interview and then she calls me and then she was like, okay, we're gonna do the, we're gonna, at, at, the, at the show, mm -hmm. um, at, the, at the showing, I want you, I'm, I'm gonna play a video and I want to know why you did the art of her. What what is your why what mm -hmm. is what is what drives you and why are you having so much trouble mm. and so that was that was hard in itself mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. another thing and mm -hmm. she she it's another layer you know she in that room she had so many gorgeous women mm -hmm. she had cecilia shriver she had erin mendeville mm -hmm. she had so many inspiring women mm -hmm. like I am always, always in awe of what Jessica can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she had this amazing makeup artist, Renee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You know, just, she just made me look flawless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when you're that talented and you work from the heart, I think that it shows. Mm -hmm. I think that when you're in this community of women trying to build other women up, it's, there's nothing better. 
because there's room for everyone to shine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And so that's what we're trying to accomplish here with Simply Hermosa, giving each woman, maybe a woman that's not comfortable with her body, with her image, we want to show her that she is beautiful. We want to be the mirror. We want to mm -hmm. show her that she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all need a little confidence boosting sometimes. I say that. Um, I love that friend. It's usually that girlfriend that just bigs you up when you're like, you're about to go out dancing or something. You're like, how do I look? She's like, oh my God, you look great. You're hot. You were just killing that yes, outfit. Yes, yes. And I'm just like, yes. I'm wearing the shit out of this. And <laughs> we that. all need that. We need that. So that's like what a photo shoot's like. It's like you just So need Misty, some did you hear that? That that is all you, Misty. Misty Dawn. I don't know if you've worked with Misty. Mm -mm. Um, but you will. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Misty Dawn is my assistant, um, my right hand for Simply Edmosa. She mm -hmm. is my she is my she is that girl. She was just like, Yes. Yes. We were at, you know, we were at at um, the neighborhood on Saturday. We were waiting in between sets before Stells, because Stells was playing last on Saturday, and she had given us tickets, and she was just on the show. And we were up there, and we mm -hmm. were visiting with Shorty, and we're going to the bathroom, and I kid you not, Misty is just like, girl, you look amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh, she's, she's that girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so that kind of leads me to, um, you know, the next kind of topic that I've got going on is that we're looking for the next face of Simply Hermosa. Mm, I saw that. Mm -hmm. um, this past year has been, you know, that has been my Jacqueline. So, and for those that don't know who Jacqueline is, she's an amazing Flocorico dancer. She is on our panel now um, and I love her. Um, you know, she's just got this outgoing spirit, this She's beautiful inside and out. I love her. And I'm just on the love fest right now because, you know, I just spent the weekend with these ladies. And, and, and it was a great time. And Shorty, I love you, Shorty. Mm -hmm. You always you always give us love. You always, you're amazing. Um, and, and we love everyone, you know? We're not, we're not all, in, we're not one way. I mean, love is love. And I will say that completely with 100%, what everybody has the right to live the life that they want to live, mm -hmm. with whom they want to mm -hmm. live it. And Simply Edmosa will never, ever discriminate. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is a diverse crowd, and all are welcome. Yeah, right on. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your um, looking for the face of... So looking for the face of Simply Edmosa, we are, we've got some nominations that we're looking for we want we want our community we want our friends our families to look f and nominate that woman that's out there that gives so much of herself that's friendly that's outgoing and that believes and maybe has a hard time believing she's beautiful mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this person has to be you know, she's got to be community based um, because that is part of Simply Edmosa too. You know, I am strong. I am a strong believer in community. Mm, yeah. Um, because I live here. I spend my money here. Mm, mm -hmm. Like I can't. I, I want somebody that represents us. That represents what our values are. What our morals are. You know. So that's that's something that has to be said from the first. So. Again, Simply at Mosa is diverse. We are, um, we are all encompassing. So if you can't have those views, it's, I love you, but it's not the, it's not the place for you. Okay, so um, what's the nomination look like? What do you have to do? So your core, nom so the Simply at Mosa has to empower, be community-based, consider it because we're going to be working with a lot of different people. Um, and, and, and that goes back to treating everybody with kindness. She needs to be drama free, friendly, because unfortunately, we as women can sometimes be a little bit dramatic and we can kind of sometimes get ahead of ourselves. So this woman has to be able to work well with others. Mm. Um, 
And then, of course, the the available for practices in the fashion show October 14th. Uh, Miss Degree to use the image because she's going to be the face of Simply Hermosa um, through all of our marketing campaigns and then be able to come to some of the events because um, as much as I love Simply Hermosa, I have to work. So I'm not always going to be able to to be at events, and I want somebody that's going to represent us in the right way and be be friendly, be outgoing, be able to talk about what Simply Hermosa is. And then another prerequisite is they have to have a strong social media presence mm -hmm. um, just because we need help promoting um, and being a part of Simply Hermosa. Um, so in order to, to be nominated, we want everyone you need she needs to have these core values but someone has to nominate her so and what we're going to do is once we get the nominations we've created a group where people can vote for them oh cool so um we're we're going to be we're going to be doing that we're, we're accepting nominations right now through april 19th through april 19th okay mm-hmm Wow, that's just like right around the corner. It really is because we're trying to, we have an event. Um, Simply Hermosa is, is going to be um, at the Pop Studios party, the lunch party, April 21st at Moto Sonora. Mm -hmm. And so we would love to introduce her there. But again, there's there's it's coming up quick, and it may not happen. Like I said, it's it's a lot of nominations. I'm 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 hoping to get at least 15 nominations, yeah, right so that we can bring them into the into the studio, so we can interview them here, mm -hmm. and then the final judging will be with our Simply Edmosa panel, which is um, Jacqueline So, our 2022 Simply Edmosa. Um, Misty Dawn, who is, like I said, my right-hand man. Um, and then we've got Ana Patricia Rawls, who is co-hosting Simply Hermosa Gala this year with me. And I have one more. Uh, who is he? Oh, Luxana. Luxana, because she's health and beauty. Well, she's my beauty. She's my beauty consultant. So she'll be the one. To, those will be the panels, and they'll be the ones to vote um, on the final choices. We'll bring three on um, the, the April show. Right on. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it really is. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about how everything is coming together. Um, I've had some amazing, like I said, some amazing partners. You yourself, you know, has been such an advocate for me as well. And I'm trying to get back to. So how do you nominate somebody? Looks like there's some. Couple there's some questions. questions. Yeah. So the question. So you will go to um, Simply Edmosa um, page. And you will actually put the nomination there. Shorty, I don't have it. Sorry, let me let me get that out there. But yeah, it's it's an exciting time. Let me get back into my how do you nominate? Um so yes, go to go to either the Instagram um, Simply Hermosa page or to our Facebook page. Right now on Facebook we do have a bigger following, but we are trying to grow the Instagram as mm -hmm. well. So, we'll, so you could just send a message and say I want to nominate for it, or actually case. like tag us in the post. Cool. Right on. Okay. And then you contact that person, follow up with them. Yes. Yes. Myself or or Misty. Cool. Awesome. So what kind of projects do you have coming up? Well, oh, thanks for asking. Uh, let's see, you know what, actually on Wednesday, so two days from now, I'll be speaking at a um, Health, Wealth, and Wisdom Summit. It's an all-day live event online with like a ton of speakers. Um, I'm in this track, it's called Empowered Moms Track. And, oh, nice. Um, I'm on at 12.30. So what is, and, um, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me more. Well, um, basically, it's kind of a bunch of experts and people speaking about wh whatever they're into. <laughs> um, I'll be talking about um, pretty much why the importance of being photographed, specifically for moms, to stop hiding behind the camera and let yourself be photographed. That your family's story really depends on it, because you know, like when you look back through photographs, um, you know, you want to see your mom, you want to see your parents. 
I hardly have any photographs of my mom. Well, um, that's because mom is always taking the picture. She's and she's hiding behind the camera sometimes. So sometimes yeah. it's because that's who's taking the photo, and well, sometimes because she doesn't want to be photographed. But that goes back to simply mm -hmm. hermosa. That yep. goes back to, you know, why do we never put ourselves in the picture? Because I'm guilty of that. Exactly. I'm so, guilty. You mm -hmm. know, I'm I'm always in front of the. I'm the one taking the picture. Mm -hmm. I'm the one. Like I I would rather see the kids than I'd rather see myself. Mm -hmm. And, and that goes back to loving yourself to ignore the crow's feet, ignore the fact that, you know, now I'm graying and now I'm not as, you know, I'm not what I used to be. Yes, you have to look past that. You have to know that your family is not looking at that. You know, like when you go for photos of your parents or your grandparents, is that what you're looking at? No, no not at all. No. Nobody cares about those things. They just want to see you it, hopefully enjoying life. Um, and we just want to remember each other. So I think it's so I'll be talking about the importance of moms letting themselves be photographed um, on this um, empowered mother's track. I love so that. So that's Wednesday at 1230. We're going to drop a link in the um, description of this video and you can register. Awesome. Um, it's free. It's online. It's all day long, but I'll be on at 1230 for 30 minutes. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. So. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that you and I are going to collaborate again on a special project coming up soon. Yes. A lunch and learn. Oh, <laughs> yes. Here you are springing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I really feel like it's important. Again, we come back to not having the right picture for yourself or your business. Yeah. So many of us are doing the selfie. Yeah. And that works for a minute. Yeah, but when you, you get going, when you first start getting going, you need to do what you got to do. And selfies or you're somebody taking your photo just kind of on the fly is, is going to work. So I, I love when you pitch this idea, the lunch and learn, because I've just finished working on this, um, uh, some branding material for my clients. Um, so I, I help a lot of women business owners and professionals create positive images for their brand or for their business. So once they can have a portrait of themselves that they're proud of, mm -hmm. that they're excited to use and put out there. Um, to help them be more visible, but also to attract their, their clients, to communicate what it is that they do and why they do it. Um, so I kind of put together a branding guide, and I think that's what we were kind of talking about, is how can people really, you know, put themselves together and but in addition to a nice portrait, but also images for their their company, their brand. And so let's be let's be very honest. You know, some women are are more endowed than others and so sometimes how do you take a professional business shot as a busty woman you know what i mean yeah and 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 dressing the part and yeah and what image what does your image what story does your image tell right that's so big too right because you um like i said i've done i've done three pictures now <laughs> and um each experience has been different mm -hmm. And each picture tells a different story. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, wait, I don't see myself that way. From the start to the end, the three photos, I will say that you captured me probably closest to mm -hmm. what my I thought my image was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try again. Let's get closer. I already have some ideas. <laughs> wow. Um, but you're right. You know what you're talking about around wardrobe and like what do you wear for this, you know, we'll call problem or solution. You know, like if I have a busty chest or this or whatever it is that you're dealing with or that you would like to minimize or whatnot. Um, yeah, I'd love to help people with their wardrobe. I think that's essential because our, our our photograph or our headshot is as essential as a business card these well, days, it's especially almost, with online. Especially online mm -hmm. because people will look at your picture yeah before they look at what your page in is. In one tenth of a second, we have already consumed that image and created a judgment about that photograph. And so you have one second to make your first impression and and it's important. So like what you're saying, what you're wearing and how you appear, your hair, your makeup, your wardrobe, your expression, your body language, what's behind you, lighting, all of those things are gonna communicate you a little bit about you and maybe about what you do. And so a fashion shoot is very different from the headshot. Right, right, right. different vibe. Different a vibe. completely different mm -hmm. um, environment. But then there's women that, that I'm working with that are, that are trying to establish a modeling career. So it's kind of like a fine line as well. 
Well, and that's what, you know, that's what the branding um, workshop is for, is to figure out what is it that you need? What are you trying to convey? If you're trying to do um, something that's fashion and glam, let's go in that direction. If you need something that is nice, friendly, open, and personable because you're a therapist, that's another. If you are... A real estate agent. Yeah. If, I mean, so there's so many different looks. If you're that, an artist or if you're crafting, you know, if you're making soap in your studio, you know, all the things. It's like, how can we use photography to describe you and... Maybe with a picture yeah mm -hmm. with a picture mm -hmm. and so that's why i was so excited when you said yes i'll come back on because again you helped me create the image of simply hermosa and i even used the very first poster the first flyer of with the picture of me in that red yeah. mm -hmm. suit i, I love, love that outfit. that outfit i love that outfit too <laughs> um, i think i said when i first met you do you have a red power suit? I, I really want you to have a red jumpsuit and you came through <laughs> yeah, I love that through. one. I've worn that numerous times. I do love that suit. Um, so right now we're going to give away a T-shirt. Right now um, we're going to give away a Pop Threads T-shirt to one of our lucky lucky listeners, watchers. Ooh, whatever. Yeah. Um, and we're really excited about this. Um, Pop Threads is, is where this came to be. You know, um, Diego started working on on this, and he was like, I I really want to do pop threads. And I was like, well, what's pop threads? And he was like, well, it's pop, um, it's merchandise that that is, you know, pop culture. And, and I really didn't understand that. So I went to Denver um, to see Noah graduate. So my baby graduated and we're in Denver and um, they take me. So, I, you know, I'm not like the kids. I'm not hip. I'm not vibe. I'm, I'm not in that life. Right. <laughs> and they were like, Mom, we're going to go see this comic store. And I'm like, what the hell are we going to do in a comic store? <laughs> what the hell? We got like we can do anything you want to do. And we're here at a comic store. And they were like, but just wait, Mom, just wait. So we go in this. And it's miles and miles and miles of movies, of like toys that yeah. you and I would have played with when we were little. Like I have tons of photos, tons of things. Cool. Um, so kind of in honor of that, I want to I want to know who's got the best like what was your favorite toy growing up? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw myself under the you know I'm gonna throw myself out there. Mine was Strawberry Shortcake. Oh yeah. And then was I was one. a Wonder Woman fan too because yes. I even had the underoos and all that fun stuff. So I'm really showing my age right now. I thought they were <laughs> dancing out there. <laughs> um, oh man, I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, I can't remember toys. I did play with a lot of Barbies though. <laughs> so Bar I loved to do their hair. I loved to do their hair and their clothes. Right. So uh -huh. you. Well, I've then, always been primping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then, you know, they had a section of Barbie. They had a section of Smurfs. They had a section of Carers. They laughed at me because it was almost my birthday, and the kids were like, what do you want? And I and I picked up a Care Bear. Nice. Oh, I love, oh, I love Care Bears. Yeah. So it was okay. funny. How do you get, who wins the shirt? How does somebody get the shirt? Somebody that gives me their favorite toy right oh, now. Okay. I'm waiting. I've got a couple people on right now. Shorty. I see Godzilla. Who did oh, Godzilla? Oh, I see G.I. Joe. Cabbage Godzilla. Patch. Oh, scroll. Oh, nice. Let me get there. G.I. Joe. Carla Godzilla? You played with Godzilla? Barbie and Ken. <laughs> Who was the... F Can Are you see what the first uh, answer was? Uh, I can't. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Caballeros de Zodiaco. Gamers was my hero. Uh oh. He Man. I love Barbies with Ken, and my favorite is the Clackers. So, Chris, I'm going to let you choose. You tell me. He, man. No, let's see what Chris is going to choose. Chris is the power. No, I'm just 
joking. Um, or how about you, Diego? This is your brainchild. Yeah, pop threads, pop culture, pop shows. You know, the old school throwbacks. Yeah. Love them. Saludos. She's all like, Hola, Care Bears Jesus. There. Yes, I loved it. So in my who, house. Who all watched the Care Bear movie? Yes, I, I did. I, I'm did. Sorry. I did. I so did. in my house. I have to admit it. In my house, we are huge Star Wars fans. And so we grew up with Return of the Jedi. And that's the loaded question. What is the best Star Wars movie? Oh, stop it. Yes, because stop. in my opinion, my opinion only, I'm a Return of the Jedi. That was it for me. Oh my God, don't hate me. I'm, I'm, I don't know any of them. I probably watched what? them, but I might have not made that? it through She's them. She's been censored for the rest of the show. <laughs> what? Mute. <laughs> she said what? We will turn off your microphone. You know, sci-fi now. is always, con- con- when I was young, well, maybe even now, sci-fi is confusing to me because I'm like stuck on, is that real? No, it's not real. It's sci-fi. But I don't know. I was you know what? Confused. I'm, I'm going to, so we're, we're throwing out, right, on, on we got to go with, what, what's what's the name here? Lux, Luxana? Or is, uh, how, Luz. How is, Luz. Uh, is, that, is that Luz? Yeah, that's Luz. We're, well, we'll, 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 we'll get Luz's shirt anyway. She's too, she's too qualified. She doesn't get to do She's it. disqualified. Luz, you're disqualified. <laughs> she's going to say what? No. How about, you know what? Because she was the first one to chime in today, baking is my therapy. Yeah. Woohoo, Carlo. You get a free shirt. I'll say. So. Because Luz is going to get one when she comes anyways. Well, so is Carla. So maybe Carla should be eliminated, too. Oh. <laughs> or additional, we need another winner. Still yet another winner. Yeah, we need another winner. Patsy's chiming in saying the rise of Skywalker. No, Patsy. Like, that's not even one of the, the, the actual original collection. Shame on you. Shame, shame. Right. Let's let's be we're, real. We're bad people because see, and she wanted me to turn on the AC. And yeah, you're it's like, cold in here. I you, am you cold now. Down, I really want, am cold now too. We'll turn it off. Um, with your cute little romper. I know, right? Well, I was Dan hot. will turn it off since he, since he can never turn anything on. Of course, I miss you, oh. dang. Oh. That was that was that was burn. Burn. Yikes, This is going another direction. <laughs> hey, we we got to be good here, dang. <laughs> Chris comes All right, what else are you giving away? What else are we giving away? We are giving away this Simply Hermosa box. And in this box, I have a, the white Simply Hermosa t-shirt in small, and I have um, the extra large in pink Simply Hermosa shirt. Um, I have, ooh, look, looks, Luke's gave me some, some goodies. <gasps> what is it? Oh. It's some lashes and this spray, this rose hip spray. Mm, I love, love it. Love, love, love it. Um, so we're just going to kind of continue with the whole. Um, oh, yeah, look. And then um, my other beautiful friend, um, Highlands Beauty, gave me some brightening night cream and a shimmer spray. So all of this will be given away. With um, tonight as well. So I need to know. I don't know. What do we want to ask? What do we want? What do we want to give away? What, what is the magical question, Chris? What do you think? What was the question again? We we need a we need a giveaway question. A giveaway question. Yeah. Mm. Since we're talking about Pop Studios, you know. Oh, that's right. As well, in this. In this care package, we're giving away two VIP passes to our pop studio party mm. coming up April 21st. Mm. Which both of you are attending, correct? Ooh, I'm going to be in Mexico. I think I'm not going to. That's gonna, not a good I think answer. I'm not going to be here. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be live, right? You're going to you're going to post it live. The whole party. I will tune in from no? the beach. Where? Which beach? I'm going to uh, Rocky Point. Why? Are, why are we not? So I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I'm going with her. Yeah, I got a two night stay at this little resort. I won a raffle. Me and my sweetie nice. are gonna go. It's a little vacation time. It's Very nice. Criminal. All right. Thank you, Luce. I love this romper too. I hope you stub your toe on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> 
Luz, you can't have this box. You can't have this box, Luz. You are you are one of my main sponsors. How am I gonna give you the box? Luz will take anything. We know. What do you mean you're gonna miss it? No, you're one of the you're one of the sponsors, Luz. How can you miss it? April twenty first. We expect you there. Falling apart. Yeah, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, you're just breaking my heart today. So let's see here. So the question was, what is a good question to ask? Yes, but guess what? We still haven't given away the Pop Thread shirt. Because we eliminated Baking is My Therapy and Luke's. She cannot have it. So I'm... And you you, you banned Carla too? I banned Carla because Jeez. Carla is, is the person... She's giving away her cakes. Yeah, who, who you know what? first because, answered because, the Oh, 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 hold on, let me go back. I'll go back. Carla is, <laughs> Carla is bringing the cakes, and Luke thinks that she's going to miss it. Ain't happening. And right now, I might even just bring... You know what? This is who needs this shirt more than anyone, okay? Oh, ne- oh. Because she's going to sit there and say The Rise of Skywalker, which was like just a recent Star Wars movie. She really needs to get educated on pop culture, so I really think you need to give this to Patsy. Patsy? Patsy. You know, the fact that she said the rise of Skywalker, though. Somebody needs to shed shed some light into her life and love her. Patsy, you are the winner. I'm here for you, Patsy. Just because you you said the rise of Skywalker. So because you had the most horrific answer... (laughs) <laughs> I was just gonna say, is that good or bad? That answer? is the that is such the that is the worst answer of all the Why? Star Wars. <laughs> it's, it not, not it's not it's not the worst. I'm just saying, it, but well, but yeah. okay, pop but culture wise, it's like it was the last one, wasn't it? Pretty yeah, much? yeah. She could she should have chosen the Empire Strikes you Back. You can't start at the end, you know. Yeah, she should have said the Empire Strikes but, Back. You know. Whatever. We, we love her, so the, yes, we are sending we love good you, vibes with the shirt. Good you know? vibes. You got a really nice little care kit right so here. So you threw the whole care package out there. I threw the care whole care. Care Bear staring it down. Yes, exactly. Right? Care Bear stare. So Patsy won the, the T-shirt and the box and the two VIP passes? She, she won it all. So. so I have a question. What? So in the Care Bear movie, <gasps> there was the Care Bear stare, right? Yes. But what were the cousins and what did they have to do? You know what? I don't remember because I wasn't paying attention at that time. I was just into the colorful bears. (laughs) Tell us. What did the cousins have to do? We got to see if anybody jumped Oh, they were like animals, right? Well, I'm not saying everything. Well, they all were animals technically, weren't they? Well, not just bears. Like there was like a lion. If they didn't have it. So, okay, perfect. And like some other things. Like wasn't there a penguin? So what did, what was their power? elephant. What was their power? Um, besides care and loving? Like, you know, we'll see the Care Bears. They had the little stare and obviously the symbols and the shirt, you know, they're, they're, they just kind of shined out. I always so, thought it was funny that they use their pancitas to do their powers, you know? Because that's the hey. sacral chakra. That's yeah. Because some of us bears have bigger bellies. Is that what you're trying to say? No, it's kind of up, no that you know? is not what I said. I just thought it was cool that they just put their little pancitas out there and all kinds of power came out of their panza. <laughs> That's because of all the things they <laughs> ate. Yeah. So I mean, what? But what did the cousins I mean, do? Let's be honest. If 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 they they messed up, they messed something up. They didn't put a you know a little care bear with a taco on it. <laughs> they they didn't they like. Um, talk about their feelings. Like, mm, nope. No, because wasn't that what the bears did? Like, they all had. They had the, like like the like sunshine bear and and and, and uh, good luck bear and all that, right? Right, right. So, but but you were right. There was other animals, but what was it that they did to contribute to help defeat the enemy at the end? Oh, well, that's like such a specific question. That was not your original question. But, but you know what Didn't I'm saying? Did they just shower? The, so, so, okay, I'm going to be I'm gonna be crazy here. And I'm just going to say that the Care Bears were the original rainbow children, right? Because, mm. because when you put all their colors together, they did the rainbow, remember? So did yeah, Star Bright, that, but we ain't talking about Oh, her. you did. Rainbow Bright. Yeah. Right. That one. That was another one that we Jam used to Jam and the holograms, that's, they roll around on a rainbow. That is... Directly Sorry. why I am the way I am. Right. I, I, 
<laughs> Care Bears made me gay. <laughs> I just yeah. like the, you know what, that and Anne Frank, wasn't it? Or what was oh, it? Wow. Lisa, Lisa Frank. Frank. Lisa Frank. That's it. That, that, Anne Frank. Uh, wrong, wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Sorry, that's the history. That, sorry. Um, so the Care Bear cousins roared. They made noise. Oh. Because they didn't have powers. And then See, they got they're powers. irrelevant. They're the rest of Jeez. us. <laughs> <laughs> no rainbow for you. Nope. Nope. You got screwed. <laughs> so you're saying that they had to make noise. Yep. Which so is... like the lion roared, the monkey was making ooh, or, you know, making his chimpy noises or whatnot. You know. Which is great to teach children to use their voice to find their power. Right. Mm-hmm. But but we never yeah, heard any symbolic. why is it we didn't hear this? <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> there was no ass on that party. Oh no, no, because it was all pancita. It wasn't <laughs> wrong show. We we try to keep it. We're trying to keep it PG here. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Now what? I don't yeah, know. you kind of. I know. We just kind of kept it. You kind of sucked the fun out of that one. Uh, well, you were over there with your ass. That's not good. <laughs> And by the way, don't be talking about burros because that was my dad. That was that was his. Your dad was a burro. Yeah, that's what they used. That I'm was his intrigued nickname. Now, hold on. That Go was on. that was my stepdad, and they used to call him the burro because he was stubborn like a burro. Mm-hmm. That's what they told you. You know, and that's <laughs> well, you know, that's that's all I want to know. They, like so, in every Mexican family, mm-hmm. there's always nicknames. Mm-hmm. Yeah. N- nicknames always. Really? Um, coincidentally, for my tata is the one with all the, the nicknames for everybody. <clears throat> you want to guess what mine is? No, what? Oh, dear Lord. Little model. My, oh, my little model. How's my little model? Aww. I swear to God. I don't even know how I got that name, but. And here we are. Nice. My little model. Yeah, I, was... yeah, I just photographed, actually just photographed my nana and thought that was really sweet. Aww. It's going to be their last photograph. Um, and my grandma's uh, starting to have dementia, so oh. it was just like really, really it's so beautiful. Impactful. It's very powerful to have a, a portrait of your grandparents. Absolutely, you know, both of my grandparents are gone, mm. but you know, we look and and actually, today is my nana's birthday. Oh, yeah. Mm. So yeah, coincidentally, mm-hmm. yeah, I loved her. Yeah. You know, and we, when my grandfather died, that. That was kind of the labor of love that I had to do the memorial and I had to collect all the pictures and we, oh, it was so hard, you Mm -hmm. know? But again, there were really not that many pictures of my Nana Mm because she didn't like to have pictures taken of her. Again, Mm -hmm. it comes back to Mm -hmm. Nana's always, uh, mom always out of the picture. And I hope that maybe this year we do a challenge that we take more pictures of our mom. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I just also photographed my mom, my grandma, and my tia Angie last year um, as my grandma's, my grandma actually just passed as well. And, um, oh, oh, you know, and you just feel, I feel so lucky to have done that, to like yeah. make them do it. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. you know, when we, when we did my pictures, you were like, I would love to photograph you, yep. your mom and yep. your daughter. Yep. And that's. And I still would. And that might happen because mm-hmm. Danny is getting married um, and we're having her bridal shower. So that would be kind of cool. Yeah. It's really just such a gift to have. You know, later you're just going to look back and you won't regret. You will not regret getting a photograph of, with your family. You just won't. Mm-hmm. Well, on that note, you've already made me cry. <laughs> Excellent. I'm so proud of where you've come Thank as well. You. Because, you know, on our journey, it's been it's been so enlightening. It's been so it's a labor of love for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, I'd love to do. I'm going to put it out there. I'll do another photo shoot with you. Yeah. Heck yeah, you are. Um, I already have ideas. I think that we should do. I think we should actually do an outdoor boudoir shoot. That is my absolute favorite thing to do because it's fun. It's engaging. It's not about what you're wearing or not wearing. It's about how you feel. I love incorporating the outside or nature, whatever makes you feel grounded or excited. Mm -hmm. Like what part of nature, you know, water, desert, mountains, air, and just shine. Yeah, it's really fun. It is fun. It is the most 
It's my favorite photo shoot. So I will I will agree to this because and Danielle, I love you. Danielle did Danielle and Jesus did a boudoir shot for us. And whew, those pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Like they they Danielle is an artist too. She 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 captured um she captured us in in some amazing poses and amazing she brought something again something out of me that I'd never seen of myself. So um thank you to the amazing photographers in my life that have photographed me that have helped me come into my to own what makes Bernadette beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love that. I really appreciate when people um, are taking advantage or can see the value, uh, the power of photography and use it on their journey. Mm-hmm. It is definitely, it is, it, it, it can be a tear jerker. It can be, it's therapeutic mm-hmm. for sure. And that's, on both something, ends. that's mm-hmm. exactly what you said to me when we did those pictures. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I, again, I can't express to you how grateful I am. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. Thank hey, you thanks so for much. having me on. This is Thank great. you. I can't wait to see what we come up with. Yeah, me too. So um, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. Um, thank you to Chris because, as you know, the shop is closed this week, and he took his last kind of day of vacation before his vacation started to, to come in with me. So I appreciate you, Chris. You're always so um, helpful, and oh, I'm very... Whatever. I'm very grateful that you haven't kicked me out of here yet because I just tell you at the last minute I need this and you've helped me on a lot of things. So I'm, yeah. I'm grateful to you as well, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you, Diego. Well, it's only because. All I right. Care. See you Diego soon. Have a great week. <laughs> <laughs>